The children like us big and round. Oh, oh Halloween, we love it so. It's time for us to grow, grow, grow. Oh, oh Halloween, we love it so. It's time for us to grow, grow, grow. Ooh, 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 ooh. You give us eyes, a mouth, and a nose, but we can't move for a lack of toes. A top of our head, we have a handle. Lift it up and waste the candle. <laughs> Off to your porch, we now must go. It's time for us to glow, glow, glow. Off to your porch, we now must go. It's time for us to glow, glow, glow. Ooh. Our time is short, but we burn quite bright. We come alive in the dark of night. Oh, all of these our chance to greet. The costume kids who trick and treat. When the candy's gone, we pumpkins know it's time for us to go, go, go. When the candy's gone, we pumpkins know it's time to go, go, go. <laughs> Ages ago in lore of old, the rise of a champion did unfold. Ooh, a gourd that would ward in every way a very, very special day. Mm, that's right. It was a somber and sober last day of October. In a hollow patch where our hero did hatch. Hatch! <laughs> he did not sprout from any magic bean, nor was he summoned by some fairy queen. Uh -uh. Nope. It was the perfect storm of fate and date that makes his appearance so very great. Lightning struck the ancient ground with a loud, booming, thunderous sound. Boom! Hey, boom. <laughs> and upon that scorched and smoldering spot, our shining patron was begot. The what? But this was no ordinary village bumpkin, for it had the body of a boy and the head of a pumpkin. Oh, Aww, isn't that cute? His back never bowed and pace never slowed as he strode down many a winding road. Traversing dark, deep holes and tall, steep knolls, he kept steadfast to his one true goal Ooh. of spreading his love from pole to pole of all Hallow's Eve wonders to every spirit and soul. Nice! To see his way through the dead of night, he placed in his head a candle so bright. And to stave off the weather's gloom, he fashioned and wore a splendid costume. That's right. Sharing his joy was the oath he had sworn, and all those he met received sweet candied corn. Yummy. Mm -hmm. Before one journey around the sun, a new tradition was formed of ghoulish good fun. Uh -huh. <laughs> and on the night we now call Halloween, these three practices must remain keen. Mm -hmm. Upon the sun's fading light, put out a jack-o'-lantern shining bright. How about three? Embrace the spirit of the night, dress up and share a laugh, or even a fright. Ooh. Ah! <laughs> and to all fellow revelers you happen to meet, be sure to share a delicious treat. Very delicious. <laughs> now before our story comes to an end, one more thing to know about our fine friend. In his heart there's no room for hate, 
and thus all holidays he loves to celebrate. Ah, oh, that's swell. But as you and you and you might have guessed, the Lord of the Gourds loves Halloween best. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Once a year the full moon glooms, children dress in costumes. jack o lanterns come alive and sing this English tune. Witches fly upon their brooms, spirits rise from their tombs. Creatures of the night will hunt for candy to consume. Little kitties all beware of fearsome frights and sneaky scares. Goats and goblins prowl about to catch you unaware. Better find a good disguise to blend in if you're wise. Go from door to door and you'll collect a sweet surprise. Creepy, crawly, slime and goo, werewolves, howling, zombies drool. Something's waiting in the dark to jump out and yell boo. Monsters roaming everywhere, tag along if you dare. You will have a night of rice and fun beyond compare. Once a year the full moon glooms, children dress in costumes. Jack-o'-lanterns come alive and sing his foolish tune. Witches fly upon their brooms, spirits rise from their tombs. Creatures of the night will hunt for candy to consume. Little kitties all beware of fears and frights and sneaky scares. Better find a good disguise to blend in if you're wise. Go from door to door and you'll collect the sweet surprise. Creepy crawly slime and goo, werewolves howl and zombie drool. Something's waiting in the dark to jump out and yell boo. Monsters roaming everywhere, tag along if you dare. You will have a night of price and fun beyond compare. Look out, take care. Ghosts and goblins prowl about to catch you unaware. Don't run, don't scream. They just want to wish you all a happy Halloween. And when they're through, they'll leave you with a final... <laughs> Bear. your tasty sweets, the ones you've collected while roaming the streets. They'll sniff you out, search high and low, they have a sweet tooth, don't you know? And if they cannot find your loot, they just might eat you as a substitute. Time to hide, better run, close your eyes, hold thy tongue, you just might have a fright by the time this night's done. If they hear you are near, there'll be trouble, my dears. You will come face to face with the worst of your fears. It's no use to flee, though it would give them glee as you suffer the horrors of their stealing spree. If they hear you are near, there'll be trouble, my dears. You will come face to face with the worst of your fears.
This is a tale of three children bold on one Halloween night, stormy and cold. Too much candy from their neighbors they did take. It is known that their greed set their fate. All the village's treats they did amass, except one last house whose gates no one would pass. To this spooky old mansion the craving children went. To the last of the town's candy, they were fast on its scent. Along a path of shattered slate they cautiously walked, greeted by cawing ravens and a black cat that stalked. Clang, 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 the cauldron-shaped door knocker rang. Creak, 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 the giant oak doors slowly swang. Standing before them was the cutest child, almost their age. With a wink and a wave, he invited them into his magnificent Victorian cage. To his parlor they followed, where an enormous mound of sweet treats they did greet. Where did you get all this candy? The children dared to ask. I took it from the good townspeople. Twas quite a task. Here, why don't you have some? He offered, presenting a tattered old sack. Several pieces they took smelled and tasted, but moments later they began to gag and hack. The children cried. It tastes like shoe leather and slugs mixed into a stale dough. I'm not surprised, the boy said, as I stole it hmm, nearly a century ago or so. The children's mouths agape, they did fear. <gasps> what is this boy thing standing far, far too near? And for the first time he did smile, exposing teeth yellow, pointed, and vile. You, and with those bites, you now share my plight, to live in this mansion for eternal night. The thick doors groaned loudly and slowly began to shut. Uh -oh. The children raced for their freedom faster than any hunter's hungry mutt. <laughs> what of their fate? Did they escape? No one knows, but have no fear. At least the town's candy is safe and shall never again disappear. <laughs> <laughs> You know that old house at the end of the road? The one that nobody ever dares go. They all have good reason to shy and steer clear of that spooky abode and its dark atmosphere. For waiting inside are all manner of frights, especially on those cold, dark, and stormy nights. It lays in ruin, run down and overgrown. But to goblins and ghosts, it's one haunted sweet home. Welcome to our haunted house. Step right in, don't loiter about. The ghosts are dying to give you a tour down every dank and dark corridor. The shadows whisper and the floorboards creak, and every cobweb's hung with care. We've done our best to keep it cold and bleak, so you'll be primed for every scare. to our haunted house round each bend something waits to pop out a thousand horrors are lurking within to frighten you right out of your skin a phantom's hiding neath that old bedspread a severed hand creeps across the floor our basement's loaded with the living dead and we've got specters by the score ba -dum, ba -dum. Come to our haunted house. Ghosts can't be real. Oh, but now you're having your doubts. Just, Just spend the night here. Deal. We'll prove it to you by making all your nightmares come true. Ooh, it's bound to scare you. When you see a ghostly review, we double dare you. Don't be daunted. Brave our haunted house. Boom, boom, boom. What a was the night of Halloween, 
when all through the streets, every creature was stirring in search of some sweets. The moon shone bright o'er the new fallen leaves, and shadows lurked about like mischievous thieves. When out on the lawn there arose eerie laughter, I sprang from my perch to see what it was after. And what to my hollowed out eyes should appear but a group of small children with motives unclear. Tiny tots all dressed up as goblins and ghouls, carting sacks full of candy like sure-footed mules. They filled me with fear, this gruesome young gang, as they crept to my door, and in unison they sang, Trick or treat, smell my feet, give us something good to eat. If you don't, we will delight in haunting your house this Halloween night. I spoke not a word, but just quickly obeyed, tossing handfuls of candy to this beastly brigade. Content with their spoils, they closed up their sacks, then turned from my door and quickly made tracks. But I heard them exclaim as they scattered from sight, Happy Halloween to all! And to all, I could fright. <laughs> Bum goblins are a fright when they go out hobbling in the night. It's no use to hide, they're sure to find you. Don't turn around, they're creeping up behind you. Hobnobbing goblins terrorize with hideous grins and grim glowing eyes. Some tall and thin, some short and stout. They'll rap on your door and you will hear them shout out, Trick or treat and smell our feet and give us something good to eat. Cause if you don't, you will despair as we serve up a very special scare. Yeah. Goblins enjoy making frightful faces meant to unnerve and to terrify. Crafting the most clever hiding places, waiting in the dark for someone to walk by. Underneath your bed, creeping in the shed, is that a goblin right above your head? Hobnobbing goblins are most merry, waltzing around in a cemetery, raising the roof in a mausoleum, tangoing on tombstones, tap dancing with demons. Goblins, goblins are a fright, they do delight in getting to what scares you. Mouth a slobbering candy goblin, lock the door if they start mobbing, hearts are throbbing. Knees go wobbling when these goblins come up nobbing. You beware, best take care. Goblins love to scare, beware. Once upon a midnight dreary, while I pondered weak and weary over many a quaint and curious volume of forgotten lore, while I nodded nearly napping, suddenly there came a tapping, as of someone gently rapping, rapping at my chamber door. Tis some visitor, I muttered, tapping at my chamber door. Only this and nothing more. Ah, distinctly I remember, it was in the bleak December, and each separate dying ember wrought its ghost upon the floor. Eagerly I wished the morrow, vainly I had sought to borrow from my books a cease of sorrow, sorrow for the lost Lenore, for the rare and radiant maiden whom the angels named Lenore, nameless here forevermore and the silken, sad, uncertain rustling of each purple curtain thrilled me with fantastic terrors never felt before. 
so that now to still the beating of my heart I stood repeating just some late visitor entreating entrance at my chamber door this is it and nothing more presently my soul grew stronger hesitating then no longer sir said I or madam truly your forgiveness I implore but the fact is I was napping and so gently you came rapping, and so faintly you came tapping, tapping at my chamber door, that I scarce was sure I heard you. Here I opened wide the door. Darkness there, and nothing more. Back into the chamber turning, all my soul within me burning. Soon again I heard a tapping, somewhat louder than before. Surely, said I, surely that is something at my window lattice. Let me see then what thereat is, and this mystery explore. Tis the wind, and nothing more. Open here I flung the shutter, when, with many a flirt and flutter, in there stepped a stately raven of the saintly days of yore. Not the least obeisance made he, not a minute stopped or stayed he, but with mien of lord or lady, perched above my chamber door, Perched upon a bust of palace just above my chamber door. Perched and sat and nothing more. Though thy crest be shorn and shaven, Thou, I said, art sure no craven. Ghastly, grim, and ancient raven Wandering from the nightly shore. Tell me what thy lordly name is On the night's plutonian shore. Quoth the raven, Nevermore! Be that word our sign of parting, Bird or fiend, I shriek up starting, Get thee back into the tempest And the night's plutonian shore. Leave no black plume as a token Of that lie thy soul hath spoken. Leave my loneliness unbroken, Quit the bust above my door, Take thy beak from out my heart, And take thy form from off my door. Quoth the raven, Nevermore! And the raven never flitting, Still is sitting, still is sitting on the pallid bust of Pallas just above my chamber door. And his eyes have all the seeming of a demon's that is dreaming. And the lamplight o'er him streaming throws his shadow on the floor. And my soul from out that shadow that lies floating on the floor shall be lifted nevermore. The smell of leaves is in the air and how the full moon shines It's such a thrill to feel the chill run straight down through your spine Our favorite night of all the year, we can't believe it's here Oh, Halloween's the perfect scene to spread some fun and fear It's the night when ghouls delight and ghosts come out to play As dark as grows, our pumpkins blow, is there to light the way? Tonight the living and undead can sing in harmony So organize a grand disguise and join our jamboree You can masquerade as anything you wish or dream Like something really scary that will make your neighbors scream Dress up like a pirate or an angel all in white Or be a gruesome monster that will give them all a fright Boom! Trick or treat, it's time to greet the strangers at your door. Let's fill their sacks with sweets and snacks, there's always room for more. A piece or two of candy should appease their appetites. So don't hold back or they'll attack and prank your house all night. Halloween's a night that's filled with wonder and surprise. And creatures in the shadows that are plotting your demise. Tonight we all can face the dark and prove we're unafraid. Until a screaming corpse pops out all rotten and decay. <laughs> Carve up pumpkins, hang some bats, and decorate with bones. To get more frights, we'll dim the lights and let out eerie moans. Our fearsome fun has just begun, but midnight's drawing near. Oh, why can't Halloween be more than one night of the year? Why can't Halloween be more than one night of the